HB4. Working on the jello. But the carbon fiber arms are super strong. They actually bent the alloy in here. And I had to straighten it, which wasn't that hard. But uh, bent the alloy rather than break. And those are TIG welded alloy channels. So that was impressive. And everything remained aligned. Uh, from the side view now, you can see that the battery is much higher above the water level, which is about half of the can. And this would be the water level right about here. <clears throat> Tomorrow we're going to go for a flight in the local lake, but I have to hike because my insurance ran out on the motorcycle, so it's going to be quite the hike, but we're going to go over there and we're going to float it and drive it around like a boat and see if that works. And we have a desiccant pouch inside here now to soak up moisture. And the ESCs have this Nomex fabric over the area here to cool. But they'll also dry out the desiccant when it's not moist in there. So it's a self-cleaning system that way. And we have the small smiley face camera on the front. We're gonna check for Jello now. And the 1047 carbon fiber props. We're going to get rid of this mount now if this jello mount works better here, or lack of jello on the foam. So there we go. HB4 test flight. Also put on carbon fiber spars across to hold these two uh, carbon fiber aero spars level. So the bracing there and the bracing there and a fiberglass rod at the back and a carbon fiber one at the bottom. So that's holding the uh, arms true basically and trying to reduce vibration there. <laughs> 